Rachel here from Beads by Virgil bringing you a tutorial on making a beadwork frill bracelet and this tutorial is brought to you in association with my appearance on Hotchanda and the kits that are available to purchase from Hotchanda.com Welcome, whether you're new to beadwork or perhaps you've done beadwork before I hope you'll find this tutorial useful If you've bought one of the kits, thank you this will run alongside the kit. There's six different coloured bracelets available. So I'm just going to show you those and then I'm going to take you step by step and zoom in and show you how to complete your bracelet. This is the turquoise and cream bracelet. So you can see there, there is a bolt fastening clasp and a little tag at the bottom there to clip that into. Now in your kit, you don't have to use all of the pearls and seed beads that are in there. Just remember to make it for the length that suits you. We have a blue one, a red and a black. So the red one has got gunmetal coloured pearls, glass pearls. And this one has actually got a combination of grey as well, which just lifts the black colour. And the final two are gold, silver lined seed beads. There's ivory and cream, which is also great for day to day, but very bridal as well. Let's zoom in and let's get started and I'll talk you through everything step by step. So let's just talk you through the materials that we'll be using. We'll be using 8mm glass pearls, an end tag and a bolt clasp for our fastening and two different colours in size 10 check seed beads. You will also need a size 10 beading needle and beading thread. We're going to cut a length of around one and a half to two meters, which I know sounds very long, but it will enable you to complete the majority of your project. Now, first of all, we're going to add on a pearl. And that pearl, we're going to shimmy that along until we've got a tail of about seven and a half centimeters. After that, we are going to add nine colour A. So the first colour that we use we'll call colour A. So you see how I'm just gently picking those up with the tip of my needle. That way it doesn't strain your eyesight and it's quite easy to actually do. And now I'm going to go through the hole, the base hole of that clasp and add on three more seed beads in the same colour. Now, if you just push along the beads to the side, leaving three seed beads on this side, and we're going to push our needle up through the seed beads on the other side and up through the clasp. Then down through the other three seed beads on the other side. And what that does is it just anchors it and makes it more secure. Pull both tails to get a tighter tension. So just a top tip as we're going, do make sure that you tighten the tension of your thread as you go along throughout the project. And you do that just by making sure there's no gaps. Push all of those seed beads down and just go through the seed bead that sits underneath those two groups of three. There we go. And then we're going to add five seed beads and pop the needle through to the other side of that glass pearl. We are going to manoeuvre our needle through there. We're going to skip that shared bead. So we're going to go through five on one side, skip the shared bead and go through five on the other side. 
this is what we call reinforcing and reinforcing is making the piece stronger so we've gone through five we're missing that one there and we're going to go down through the five on the other side and we're just going to take a few moments just to get that tension together now you notice that both of these tail ends are in the same spot and it's an ideal opportunity to actually get a further anchor point so what we're going to do is actually tie that together so we're going to wrap that round and form a loop now you can just do a single or a double knot there and i'm just going to pull this is an ideal opportunity to actually tie off your short tail now to tie off push your needle through two to three beads and then either push the needle in between the thread or under the thread and before you pull it just tie a knot and pull and you want to do that in two to three different places to secure it in place before you trim off that's if you're doing it underneath and pull yes you push it through another bead before trimming don't trim the wrong tail so trimming the short tail right so we're just now left with the longer tail and we're going to actually start the base weave. Rethread your needle onto the long thread and push your needle through the purl which in your kit is referred to as a C bead. The next stage which we'll repeat throughout is to add four seed beads in the A colour, followed by a pearl, followed by another four A beads, seed beads. Now it doesn't really matter which side it sits, which side that you have that on, your technique is exactly the same. With your needle, we're going to push your needle through the first pearl bead that you added. That will form a loop. We are going to do a little bit of reinforcing by going down those four seed beads that we've just added and then back through the pearl that we've just added. We are going to repeat that process until you have the required length of the bracelet. But I'm going to show you a little bit more before I put you on fast forward. Add in four seed beads, a pearl, four seed beads. Through the previous pearl bead that you added and pull that tight. Now to reinforce, you only really reinforce around one side whilst you're doing this. I'm going down through the four seed beads on this side and like I say don't forget to get pull on that tension as you're going and then go through the pearl that you've just added. Continuing with another four seed beads and a pearl 
and another four seed beads. So in this sequence, we are only using our first colour of seed bead. We don't actually introduce the second colour until we've actually finished this first stage of the bracelet. Again, reinforce by going down the one side and through the pearl you've just added. I am going to continue with that and then I will come back to you when I've completed the length I require and show you how to attach the other end of the clasp. I've just worked my last group of beads and now I'm going to show you how we attach the, the tag end where you will attach your bolt clasp to forget you make the bracelet to the size that you require. I've got 19 pearls here, probably for a six and a half, seven inch wrist. After you've added your last pearl, using the same colour seed beads, add another nine seeds. Add the end clasp and make sure you pop your needle through the smaller hole of the two another three seed beads in the same colour. So this is using the same technique as we did at the start. Push to one side the last three seed beads on the other side and position your needle through those three seed beads through the tag and then back down the three seed beads on the other side. Position, push it down the next seed bead that sits underneath the two groups of three. We're gonna add another five seed beads in the same color. Go through the end pearl to the opposite side and there you have your attached end clasp. As before, we want to reinforce the end. So we go through the five seed beads on the one side, skip the shared seed bead at the top, down the five seed beads on the other side. Just take a moment to get the tension right on there. Push your needle, through the glass pearl to the other side. I'm going to start by showing you how to do the frill, which will be on both sides of the bracelet. Now introducing our second colour, which in the pattern is referred to as the B coloured seed beads and this is making triangular peaks. To start off with, push your needle through the first seed bead in the first group of four. So we're not counting this end part here. Add three B seed beads, so that's your second colour, then one of your first colour seed bead, which we'll call colour A. Pull the last seed bead to one side, pop your needle through the first gold seed bead that you've just added. So there we have a little point on the end and we're going to add another two gold seed beads. Miss the next two seed beads in the group and push your needle through the last one in that group of four. And there you have your first frill. Push your needle through the pearl, second pearl, and we'll do the frill the other side. Go through the end seed bead from the previous row 
added, add three colour B seed beads and one colour A. So that's three gold and one silver. As before, push the end one to the side and go through the next seed bead and that creates the peak at the end. Add another two seed beads and then go through, miss the next two seed beads in that group of four and go through the last seed bead. Then push your needle through the very end glass bead. To reinforce, push your needle through all four colour A beads, through next pearl in the row, and we're going to continue with that technique. We'll go through the very end of that group of four seed beads add three colour B one colour A to create the peak push that seed bead to the side and go back down the previous seed bead add another two B colours which is in this case your gold Miss the next two seed beads and go through the next end seed bead. Push your needle down through the nearest glass pearl. We're going to complete on this side. I find it easier just to flip it around. Go through the end of that one. So we're working back. So you want to work almost in this sort of motion. Add three colour B. 1A, miss the last one, go back down the next seed bead, add two gold and go through the end one and also the pearl. To reinforce, to reinforce, again we're only really reinforcing half of it as we go. Pop your needle through all four A beads that you've just added a frill to and it's also a way of getting your needle back to where you want to start next. Push it through the glass pearl, push it through the first group of the next four. We are going to continue with that technique until we've completed the length of the bracelet. I'm almost halfway through and I'm starting to run out of thread. You need to think about tying off your current thread when you get down to at least seven and a half centimetres. So the good thing is I'm about to start to run out of mine so I'm going to show you how you add new thread in and tie this one off. Now it's probably a good idea to actually tie your new thread in before you tie off your old one. So I've cut another metre because I'm, I'm really not going to need much more than that. Now to tie in a new thread, so this is where our tail is, I'd work back a couple of beads Push your needle at a random point through two to three beads and leave yourself with a tail that's long enough for you to keep hold of. And then we actually tie off or tie in the same way as we tie off. So push your needle either under or through the thread in between beads and tie a knot before going to the next one. Can you see how I'm keeping hold of that tail? Follow the same thread path that you've been going through so that you don't position your thread with it being visible. 
push it through a few more beads and again do the same and pop a knot in between seed beads. I would suggest you do at least it in three places and bring it out where my current working thread is that I'm about to tie off. That way you're in the, exactly the right position for starting your next group. So my two tails are together and I'm going to take opportunity to do one of my tie-offs with by knotting those together and tie off the thread that you just have a short tail left on. I'm going to go back up through the working areas that I've been to and do the same again, push through either through the thread or under the thread. So when you've done enough, so trim off those tails and then return back to your long thread and continue working. I'm going to carry on as before and just come back to you to finish off the piece. Now I'm just working my last group. Remember you don't need to work this section here because that forms the end part of your clasp. When you've actually worked your last one, you'll just tie off, as I demonstrated earlier on, to complete the piece. If for any reason you feel that the tension is a little bit loose and you've got a few gaps appearing, then you can always follow your thread path back down and actually before you tie off, is just pop your needle and thread back down the bracelet to tighten it up a little bit. I've tied off the final cord so I can now trim off that tail. There we have our completed bracelet which you custom make the length to suit your requirements and you've got a little bolt clasp that clips into that end tag there. So here's our finished piece. I hope you found the tutorial useful, but if you've got any questions, do pop a note in the comment thread and I'll be sure to answer any questions that you do have. If you could please subscribe to my newsletter as well, beadsbyvichil.co.uk and be sure to check out the other YouTube tutorials that I have. Thank you for joining me and see you at the next tutorial. Bye.